So today we're going to be bench testing Mugen Max and this is a Scythe CPU air cooler product and you've seen quite a lot of them so far and um, we really like them so we just want to keep benching them and seeing if we can get anything better than uh, AIO because an AIO is kind of in the middle of having a CPU air cooler or a custom water cooler but um, the, the performance I'm talking about anyway. This also works for Intel and AMD so you might as well stick around so we can you can bench with us. Right, so what we're going to be doing is uh, we've got CPU Z, CPU ID, and we're going to have a stress test uh, Prime 95, so we can stress test the CPU, uh, which is 6700K. We're using the 1000 HCP by Antec. We're using a, a what we're we using a Tryon OCZ a solid state drive. We've got onboard graphics, so it's Intel graphics, no um, no graphic intense stuff applications going on there and we've also using ballistics crucial memory which is 3000 megahertz nothing's overclocked everything is just bog standard no overclock with voltage voltages i couldn't speak properly but it's all on the screen there so you're going to be able to see it we want to just test it and stress test the 6700k that we've got in there and um, as you can see everything is not overclocked and we're using Intel HD Graphics 530 and CPU is idle, running at between 3.89 um, 3 gigahertz to 4.8 when it turbos up with the hyper threads. Uh, depends on what I'm doing. No SSDs are overclocked, so just using one OCZ, uh, yeah, one OCZ uh, SSD, so get rid of that. And there we have it. We've got the CPU ID HW monitor, and at the moment we have a fan ratio of 462 rotations per minute, and that's going to soon to ramp up. Temperature in here is around 17 to 18 degrees, and um, core temperatures I running idle between 19 and 21 degrees over four cores. And uh, basically, we want to. The whole point about this exercise is that we want to try and see if there's any CPU air coolers that are, are going to get to the stand of AIOs and also custom water cooling. I know, I know custom water cooling is quite far, but CPU air coolers are adapted, and you've got one. I've got one 140 mil fan here. I've got six mil piping and six pipes underneath. It looks really nice and everything like that. So let's let's check it out and see where we get on. So I'm going to start to do the stress test now. Just run it. Let's see where we get to. Right, so we're already at just under 1100 rotations per minute. Just gone over a little bit. And we're going to run this test for five minutes. So it will finish at 4.54. And um, I think that's the right time, yeah, 4.54. And uh, yeah, basically at the moment, we're running at 28 degrees, 30 degrees, 29 degrees, and 57 degrees on all four cores. But leaving it five minutes so it can level itself out, hopefully we get some decent results. And uh, we'll, we'll let you know, obviously. So now we're checking out the results. What do you think? Like. The RPMs are like at 1,160 rotations per minute. Uh, it's got one 140 mil fan on there. You can put two of them on there. You can change it around for aesthetics. It looks really quite cool. You get like a little spanner that's in there. Um, I don't know where, what I've done with that. Oh, it is. So you get that spanner, but I prefer because it's got a hole in there that you can actually put a big like screwdriver right angle tool and you can screw it all the way in and it's so much easier than using this this will take ages 
So that's a negative, but on the plus side, you can use another tool for it. Uh, the clearance as well from 1170 uh, motherboard is the fact that you can put four um, sticks of RAM in there and it's cleared, it's not even touching it. And all the heat can get sucked in and blow straight out to the back of the actual case or up to the top. Um, I like the way it looks, I like the little sky flow going on top, it's got a nice um, mirrored finish on the top which makes it look really super cool. It's all silver, I can't see any bronze, it's got a nice uh, nickel plate so you can have nice contact with the CPU and it fits really nice. You can do it at two different orientations. Um, first time when I actually placed the CPU air cooler on the actual motherboard, I put it in the wrong way around. So I put it in the right way around and now I can see the clearance perfectly. And uh, it is straightforward to uh, put together. You may need the instructions. It is, it's not as quick as the other Scythe, um, Scythe products, but it is okay. Once you've got it in there, it's alright and it's solid and it's there for AMD and you can use it on a 2011 motherboard or you can use it on a, on a um, 1170 motherboard. So it's really quite perfect and I definitely recommend it so far. The temperatures haven't even peaked over 60 degrees, which is quite cool. I don't know whether it's because it's got a bigger um, fan and it makes all the difference because I have used another couple of CPU air coolers that had 120 mil uh, fans on there and they're all perfect. But this one seems to be doing really pretty well just with one fan, keeping it under load under 60 degrees over all four cores. And this is a 6700K, un not um, overclocked or anything like that. And it seems to be quite perfect. I really do like it. I definitely recommend it for gaming. I recommend it for studio work. I recommend it for just um, a, like a silent computer. If you've got a silent case, this would be quite perfect. This is what it sounds like when it's at full load. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the stress test and see how much it ramps down, how quickly, how quick it gets cooler as well. So I'm stopping it now. Right, ins instant basically, down to around 600 rotations per minute. And we're going down from um, from overload, not overload, from low to idle, from 60 degrees or 59 degrees over all four cores down to 23, 23, uh, 24 and 23 degrees. I'm really impressed with this. It's even gone down lower actually, in the space of 30 seconds, 483 rotations per minute. And that's how silent this actual computer is. If you like this video and you thought it was helpful, don't forget to give me them likes. It shows me that you're interested in these videos that I'm doing or you may want me to change certain things. If you do want me to change certain things, comment down below. All the links in the uh, description down below of where you can buy the CPU cooler will be down in, um, in the description box. And uh, don't forget to comment and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.